Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so much again for being here and joining us again. This time, it's gonna be a really good video. I mean like the other ones too, of course. <laughs> but this time, we are cleaning this disgusting thing. There is no other word for this fridge but disgusting. So, let's get to it. It's I've been dwelling on it because I know how bad it is. The fridge and the freezer. I'm gonna show y'all how bad it is, okay? So y'all can believe me. But um, don't judge me. I'm sure that a lot of people out there are gonna be like, ew, this is so disgusting, but don't judge me, okay? Comment below, let me know if you've ever let your fridge go this bad. <laughs> and it's beeping, so let me know that I have to um, go ahead and get all this, um, I mean, I have to close it. That's what it's telling me to do. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by taking all of this out. It's packed, guys, look. It's a full fridge, so I'm gonna take everything out. Whatever needs to go in the fridge, I'm gonna put it in the fridge in the garage. Well, all of this needs to go in the fridge, but if it could stay out for a little bit, it's okay. But like all my dairies and all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the, in the other uh, fridge and wash everything, okay? I'm also gonna organize, um, I'm gonna make my fridge uh, friendly enough for the girls because they do like to pack their lunch, so I wanna put all their snacks here that they could just grab and put in their lunch box. So come with me, let's do this together, and let's get it done, yay, <laughs> finally! All right guys, so let me take y'all around and let me show y'all how I have prepared myself for this. Um, I put my apron on because I do not want to get bleach on myself. So um, I did use a little bit of bleach just on my soap water. I put um, some Dawn detergent and some a little bit of bleach and this is my rag that I'm going to be coming back and forth cleaning the fridge with. Um, also I'm going to go ahead and start taking everything out, that's the first thing. Um, I think I'm going to start with the sides first with all of this first and then we're gonna move to the middle part of it so I'll start taking these out first so we can wash them clean them and clean behind them and everything okay uh, so let's get started Woo Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put everything back in its place um, for the doors. I have all my dressings, all my C 
seasonings and marinades on one side, all my hot stuff um, um, and subs and all that on one side. And then I have like my ketchup, barbecues, and Chipotle sauces on another side. Um, I just kind of put all the marinades and like the barbecue ketchup mustard right here the sweet stuff jellies up there And then I got my dr salad dressings This was supposed to go with the sweets of the whipped cream, but it doesn't fit up there So I just put it down here and then I Got my all my hot spices my sandwich spice right here and little peppers right there um, I put this little um, mustard in there with my pesto sauce and then my green onions that grow in the fridge um, and then just the leftover stuff my wasabi sauce some pepto and then some little cheese snacks um, so let's tackle this now um, this is a big old mess so let's go ahead and get started as you can see guys it is disgusting look at that has well, I haven't opened up the drawers for you guys. I don't know what that is back there, but we're gonna get this done. It ain't no thing. We got this. We're gonna start by taking everything out of the fridge and putting it to the side. I'm gonna clean this very quickly. I'm gonna put these in the sink to wash them and um, get all the gunk off of them. And, and I'm gonna do the same with this down here. So um, we're gonna stop from top to bottom. So that way all the dirt can fall down. And let's go ahead and do it. Also, I did wanna let you know that I did redo another um, water in the sink because the first one that I had was pretty gross after I washed the uh, doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, redo it again. All right guys, so I like to uh, use a paper towel just to clean the glass um, after I'm done cleaning it with the wet rag, just to get all that excess water off of it and make it look nice and clean. Yep, and that's it, now it's all clean. All right, guys, so I took all these out, all the food out of these. Yeah, they are pretty filthy. And, ooh we it's time to clean these out. Let's take them to the bath place.
Guys, if you have the type of refrigerator that I do, it's a Samsung, don't know the exact model, but I've been trying for years to take this out. Um, the part, this part right here out. Sorry, this part right here out. Um, and it was very hard for me until I found out that it has two little clicky things right here. I don't know if you can see them. At the very bottom. Hi, Marley. Um, right here, you could see it kind of clicks in and out. Can't get, seem to get it to focus, I'm sorry. But yeah, it clicks in and out, so you just push them in like, you push them inward and then this whole thing pops out. Then, in order for you to get this out, there's, I'll show you, there's two little clicker things again, right here. Okay guys, so what I did is I pushed that in a little bit and then I grabbed it from, you gotta do it very carefully because you don't wanna break it. But it pushes right out. Kind of got a. Oh lord, it's really tight. The other one came out really easily. There we go. There we go. So that's a little piece that's gonna come off. Make sure you don't lose it. And then you flip it over.
Alrighty guys, look at this difference of a fridge guys. Look at this. So we got all that cleaned up. You don't see any type of nothing. And then now all I have to do is um, put everything back and just um, dry it off. Now all the all of that is already fully clean. So it looks nice and organized. I hope y'all enjoy, are enjoying this as much as I am. It looks brand new. All right guys, so what I have done is I got a little plastic container and I put all the, tur the sandwich cheese right here, the sandwich meat, my cream cheese, my um, shredded cheese and my Parmesan cheese in this tray and they're gonna go on the bottom drawer. And I'll show y'all in just a second um, exactly how it's gonna look. Okay, look at this. Something. <laughs> All right guys, so right here, all I did was put some cheese sticks and some jellos so the kids can come and grab them as a snack. And we're gonna place this over here. All right, we're gonna place it right here. And have a little snack drawer so how I have it so far is the eggs are gonna be right here sandwich meat cheeses and all that are gonna be right there little left leftover uh, muffins are gonna be right there and then their snacks are gonna be right here so I'm gonna bring some more snacks in Let it just uh, sit there and I just grab as I go. But it'll last a lot longer if you put it in a mason jar and some water and just put it in the fridge and sit it in there. Kind of like this one. Um, so I'll probably just see if it'll fit right here. And let it go inward like that. Let's see? Yeah. See? Just like that. And just when I open it, my herbs are right here. Um, easy for me to access. I'll probably move this. Um, I kind of just played around with it and I kind of just, you know, switch things up, move things around, you know, see where it fits, where it doesn't fit. So um, you just kind of got to play with it and see what works for your family. This may not work for your family. Um, a lot of people uh, push the issue of organizing a certain way, but I don't like to do that. Do what, work, what works for your family, what's best for them. Um, this is going to be what's best for us. Um, and I'm gonna give you a close-up of what it looks like. So let's do that. I'm so excited. It did take me all day because I had, of course, I'm a mom, so I have to go here, do this, this, and that, feed the family and everything. But we are all done. Look at this, guys. It looks amazing. Let me give you all the rundown of what I am doing here and how our family, um, uh, how this works for my family, okay? so. We got all of our spices, not spices, our dressings and ketchups and uh, you know marinades and all of that on this side. Um, on this side I have all my spiciness, little chili peppers, whatever. My herbs and water, like I showed you earlier. Um, little miscellaneous things up there. Uh, up here we have our yogurts, our Greek yogurts and smoothie stuff. I have my strawberries and berries up there. For my smoothies, my elderberry, my sour cream, my um, butters up there. And that's just a little uh, miscellaneous thing, some crabs uh, with crackers. We eat that with, it's, what is it called? 
It's called Kickin' Crab Salad. It's a crab salad. That's so good, guys. It's from Kroger. Down here, we have all of our drinks and my lemons and limes. Um, right here, I have my spinach, my arugula, and my broccoli. And here, I have my cucumber, my celery, my avocados, uh, green peppers, tomatoes, uh, you know, chili peppers, uh, whatever, you know. Sometimes I... I do it, use it for my salsa and my little uh, cherry tomatoes. And then down here, I have the little snack area. Applesauce, um, jellos, cheese sticks. I have my eggs, my sandwich stuff over here and cheeses, extra little breads, and my jalapenos. So this is it guys for the top part. We're gonna do the freezer and that will be next okay but yes we got this done and it feels so good to have such a nice um fridge clean fridge hey guys good morning it's the next day i got the girls off to school and now i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to finish up my duty we're gonna go ahead and start with the freezer it is a disgusting mess i want to show y'all before we get started what we're gonna be dealing with today so let me it is bad so a lot of stuff has been spilled ice cream mainly ice cream and popsicles and experiments i don't know what this is doing in here but y'all please excuse this i gotta get all this out and maybe throw away some things you know that is no good anymore so let's go ahead and get started and get this done so i can feel accomplished <laughs> Alrighty, guys wish me luck mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Wow, look at this, guys. All that ice cream, crumbs, Jesus, help us. Let's get this cleaned up as well. And this is all the stuff that was in the freezer. I threw a lot of stuff away already. So this is all the stuff, and we'll get to organizing it in just a few minutes. Once I'm done cleaning all of that. That one's drying, and now let's go ahead and clean that one off. What I'm doing here 
is I am grabbing a tooth a toothpick. You see the toothpick? I got a toothpick and I'm going in the creases to get any dirt out. Guys, we're all done. Look how awesome this looks. This is all my smoothie stuff. My frozen fruits, frozen spinach, um, more frozen spinach and then cheese. Got my ice cream, my ice packs, uh, more little ice cubes right there. Then I have the girl snacks, corn dogs, frozen Tostitos, uh, frozen bread. And then I have my frozen vegetables and just, um, the frozen vegetables are right there, all these, and then just my meat right here. Um, so that is it, guys. Look at this. It is awesome. So much better. So much room for other things. It's so functional, guys. I recommend you do it. Even if it takes you two, three days to get it done, at least you're getting it done. Don't get overwhelmed just because it's a lot all right guys that is it i'm done <laughs> i got wet even though i didn't want to but it's okay i'm just so happy that it's finally done it took me two days to do it guys but honestly i am i feel accomplished i'm so happy my fridge is so functional now i'm not like looking everywhere for things and it's just amazing so like i said i recommend you guys do this if you have a fridge that looks like that or maybe a little bit less dirty than mine or more dirty than mine then do it even do one section at a time i recommend it um but i hope y'all like this video guys and i hope to see y'all next time on my next video um and as you can see i'm so happy that i got it done um, but you can do it too. See y'all next time. Love y'all. Besos. Bye.